All right, the next uh, question is about uh, fuel pumps and how they work. Uh, the older style fuel pump that's no longer used is called a mechanical fuel pump. Uh, this fuel pump is actuated by the camshaft or, or a push rod coming off the camshaft. An automotive camshaft has a special eccentric that pushes up on a rocker arm that you can't see that's inside the engine and when that pushes up it pulls down on a diaphragm. That diaphragm creates a vacuum in the fuel line coming from the fuel tank and then that vacuum uh, allows that line to become filled with fuel, actually draws fuel up into the inlet side of the pump and you can actually see the fuel inside the uh, what we call the fuel bowl on the uh, fuel pump right here. There's also a filter screen inside there. Then once that diaphragm uh, releases that fuel goes up inside the chamber itself actually goes through a check valve and a check valve is a one-way valve lets the fuel go in, into that valve and then once the pressure is released on the rocker arm that diaphragm comes back up and it pushes fuel out of the outlet and the outlet comes out through this line right here and goes to the carburetor and fills the fuel ball so that the uh, rocker arm is constantly pumping and, and push forcing fuel up to the carburetor now what happens obviously is that the fuel pump has a much higher capacity to pump and uh, you're actually going to pump more gasoline than the carburetor needs so the carburetor has a float system inside that can actually shut off the fuel and when it shuts off the fuel it's uh, the when the bowl is fuel full it's adjusted by a float inside the fuel pump has to idle so there's a little link in the rocker arm that just allows the rocker to go up and down and when there's liquid up against the diaphragm you want to remember a liquid is not compressible so once it's in a closed area it can't compress a liquid so the fuel pump just sits there and idles okay that's the old style mechanical fuel pumps new style cars all use electric fuel pumps the fuel pumps are located in the tank they're not attached to the engine uh, inside the fuel tank. There's also a fuel filter sock inside the fuel tank. Uh, it's a big deal on a newer car because if your fuel pump fails you're going to have to drop the tank. You're going to get towed in. You're not going to be able to fix it by the roadside. This car here theoretically if I had a fuel pump fail and I had another fuel pump that I carried with me because this is a uh, 37 uh, vintage vehicle right here um, I could just with some simple hand tools actually replace this fuel pump at the roadside. With the electric pump, that's not going to be possible. Okay, the other thing you want to remember, the biggest cause of electric fuel pump failure is to let your fuel tank run down low. That's why I say, always recommend, keep your fuel tank at least half full. By doing that, the fuel cools that electric fuel pump. That electric fuel pump runs submerged in fuel. Now some people are going to say, whoa, isn't that a fire hazard? Aren't there going to be sparks? But actually, uh, you're not going to get ignition if the fuel pump is completely submerged. I've really never heard of any case where a fuel pump is, uh, is ignited uh, from, uh, you know, other than a car being in a collision. So those are electric fuel pumps. There are some aftermarket electric fuel pumps. You could add the cars like these. Quite often that's done because of the lower read vapor pressure of the newer fuels. Uh, some of these cars tend to vapor lock where the fuel and the fuel line going to the carburetor will actually turn the vapor. Uh, you have to have liquid fuel delivered to the carburetor, otherwise the carburetor cannot uh, deliver atomized fuel into the intake system to uh, cause the engine to run. So. Again, sometimes electric fuel pumps are added to the system to keep the fuel circulating, to keep it cool on hot summer days so that you don't encounter vapor lock.